Hi guys, Better Group Gamer here, coming at you with another broadside of naval action. And today we're playing Ruler Waves 2. We are still continuing our French campaign. It's currently uh, November of 1949. And we've been at war with Austria-Hungary for three months. And there is the ever-increasing threat of war from, well, it looks like a fascist Germany here. Um, yeah. But, anyways... We, we're going to continue to try our very best to not go to war with Germany. Because, well, like I've said before, they've got a treaty with Italy. And I just cannot afford a war with all three of these guys. It would end very badly. Even with um, an alliance with America and Great Britain. Because, well... Alliances only lend so much when you're in a war, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, we've uh, we had ourselves a pretty good uh, match against uh, the Austrian cruisers last episode, and I'd like to continue that trend. So we have a destroyer action all the way out here. Very, or a, a large battle size. So, hmm. I think we have a much better destroyer lineup than the Austrians have. There'd better be only destroyers here. Attack enemy ships in general. So what do we have? We've got a lot of uh, destroyers here, which is good. Harpen, Harpon class. Gunboats. Also mine laying. And bombard class, which is more, um, well, it's pretty much the same, except they've got uh, dual purpose four inch guns. Yeah, this is a big old, huh, they're not carrying Oh, oh dear. Well, the Halibard class is uh, torpedo boats. Let's see what kind of shit we can pull off. Well, we can't... Ugh, fine. We'll leave them in screen formation for now. Can't really do anything with them just yet. Eventually we will. One of these days. There we go. So let's go ahead and get these guys up to 20 knots. What is their max? 34. Um, so let's actually increase that to 24 knots. And our screen should be able to... Well, keep screening. That's not a very wide screen here. Are we even going to encounter anything? Well, there's a radar contact. Heading this way. So we should be able to blind fire with the radar. So 
So we have some Python classes, which is very similar to our Halibard. And a Wild Fang, which is quite the gunboat. Wow. Alright, let's go up to Squad Max and head south. Let me also go ahead and authorize Flotilla Attack. We do have the Oxygen Fueled Torpedoes, which gives us a hell of a range versus our guns. And the dart is by himself? Why? Put you back on AI control. Okay, what, ouch. Well, shit. That's the, uh... This is the thing with oxygen-fueled torpedoes. Dude, the heavy flooding. Ah. Uh. We are actually not doing very well. It seems that the uh, Austrian 8-inch guns are really pulling some shit. Let's... You haven't had any damage. Hmm. Machinery damaged by splinters. Put you on AI control. And holy shit, our pistole. Well, that's unfortunate. One destroyed turret, one disabled turret. That's a lot of flotation damage. All right. We will just go ahead and send you home. If you can. All right, how fast do these pythons go? 34 knots. They are just as fast as ours, but it's not really working out for us. I recognize a torpedo attack when I see one. All right, I think we need to just go ahead and get the hell out of here.
because this is not going our way at all. Turns out our destroyers are actually inferior. Yes, just keep the torpedoes coming. Keep them away from us. What was that? Ah. Ah, enemy aircraft. Awesome. Thank you for avoiding torpedoes. Hey! We got a torpedo hit. It's gonna be that one. It's definitely that one. <laughs> it's fucking dead in the water. Take that, you son of a bitch. Almost dead in the water. Well, uh, this one's definitely dead in the water. Yeah. Max speed of two. And that's with the machinery being repaired. Oh, you are not long for this world. Musket is also probably going to end up going down. What we need is nighttime, but that's not happening. Yes. Well, shit, I guess we need even better destroyers. We are getting chased right the hell out of the Adriatic Sea. All these aircraft and nothing can help us. Yeah, the poor musket. Mosque. Seven knots now. That ain't bad. But you also need to... What is your name again? Pistole. Go home. Well, this was embarrassing. But at least they have stopped chasing for the time being. And our torpedo... torpedoes, our destroyers can stop laying smoke. Right here, of course. Yep. 
He's not getting away. Well, that's several destroyers that we ended up losing in this battle. Why did you turn around? YOLO, I guess. Wait, are you... Nope, never mind. They're turning back around. Yeah, let's see if this actually does anything. Is that one torpedo? Threw the whole fucking bunch of them and nothing happened. Yeah, there goes the pistole. Yep. Shit. Yay. Oh, we ended up sinking two of them, so it was a draw. Well, that was a pleasant surprise. Uh, they ended up getting four victory points over us. But we're still ahead in the victory points here. Hmm. Temporary setback and figuring out the concept of improved blind fire capability. And we have angled flight deck. Nice. No, we'll assign all of the planes. And we lost a sub to aircraft. Awesome. Well, the Requin hit a mine in the Mediterranean. But fortunately, she's a very old design. Designed in 1913. Yay, a Corvette hit a mine. So the Austrians are down one Corvette. We've got a lot of subs. And more uh, hardship in Austria-Hungary. We're still blockading them, so that's a plus. Let's see, what do we want to add here? Probably another medium bomber. Same thing for Dunkirk. La Rochelle, Roche? Hmm. Only 40 planes. So I guess uh, 20, 10, and 10? For now, at least. La Roche needs to be. Also, Le Havre. Mm. 
Marseille. Bizert. Facio? That sounds Italian. Whoa, 208. <laughs> and Cameron Bay. Let's get you some more medium bombers. Yeah, good shit. All right, so La Havre. Oh, well, it'll tell me. I think that's okay for now. Can I actually exp Oh, I can. Can I expand? Nope. Okay. Well, that is pleasant news. We can expand our airship bases. I mean, might as well. Air power is the th present. Do we... Well... Ooh. That's a decent nest egg. And we're gonna spend it all building one each of these behemoths. A fleet battle! At a time where the one of our capital ships is in a dockyard. Awesome. But I believe we can make this work we definitely out outnumber them with uh, with the carriers. Why was it only asking about land-based air? Oh, I guess it always does. Why are we here? And we cannot control anybody just yet. Would have been nice to have all of the carriers in one fleet, task force, whatever you want to call it. Ah. We are going to want heavy cap. Yes, that is a very good coverage.
wind has our or will have our carriers going this way that's not what I wanted we will be targeting the carriers. And then after that, we'll target anything. Because they don't have any battleships, at least not yet. They're probably building some. We only have, Never mind. heavy bomb load especially since we have our uh... oops I completely lost my train of thought It's unfortunate that the strike exceeds the deck load. Ah, the niece, of course. Always ready these things up so that you may be the first to attack when ships are spotted. Okay. Yep, 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 yep. I would love to be able to steer these uh, carriers south away from all of this Adriatic Sea is going to be quite the no-fly zone probably for both sides give me control pretty please All right. Hold on. That's not what I meant. Also, go 20 knots.
Yeah. Yeah, that's quite a range right there. First sight of anything, I need to turn these guys the hell around. So far, we're not seeing anything. Let's go 20 knots. We'll also be able to see how our auto loading cruisers do. So far, nobody is spotting anything. Where in the hell? Let's see, can I? Nope, I cannot choose anything for land-based air. everything you know it's a damn shame that recon planes don't stop when they hit the coast I doubt they're gonna have a cruiser up in the mountains Although it is 1949, I can imagine that maybe some of their armies would have a uh, what the hell did they call it a, a Lundkreuzer, land cruiser, 11-inch fucking naval artillery guns on a tank. Oh dear. They're coming from this way. Dive bombers and torpedo bombers, so their carriers are, I'm assuming, over here somewhere. Two aircraft damage, one aircraft destroyed, one aircraft damage. Look at that combined AA factor, fucking 50. But that's probably not enough. No sightings at all yet.
Radar picked up some... Hey, our cap is going to work. Oh, Carrier Division 14 has been spotted by enemy aircraft. All right, time to turn these guys back to the south. And, oh crap, our decks are loaded. All right, fine. Well, we've got 379 range. I need to get some of these uh, readied airplanes off my fucking flight deck. Thank you. And Baron. Love the range on these things, Jesus. Strike exceeds deck load, what the shit. Um, now it doesn't. Twenty one. <sighs> okay, so 21 apparently is our maximum uh, deck load. Let's also send something over here. Oh. I'm glad I opted for the heavy cap. I'm also glad that all of my <laughs> destroyers have dual purpose guns. Cause holy shit, I am not having another carrier burn down. No, just no. Aircraft keep approaching us. 
but fortunately nothing is coming of it. I think they're coming from Kataro? Kataro? Should probably and it's raining. I'm glad I launched my airstrikes when I did. Oh, these guys were going cruise speed. Okay. Everybody needs to cluster up a bit. Admiral Cecil. Not much in the way of AA. But you need to you need to catch up to the group. Well, this rain may have done a whole lot to prevent another carrier burning down. Oh, well, that's awesome. And it's not raining anymore. Yes. 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 I saw them down here. Too bad that I don't have the option to yes to all. They're attacking the burn. That is a lot of AA for those things to go through. Oh, right, Sky Cancer. Don't burn down, please. Which one is 14 again? Pain live class, right? Yeah. Armored flight deck. All of this AA. Hopefully some good things come of it. Well, I think the AA in the cap is... I mean, I keep saying it, but they are really doing some work here. Should probably cluster these carriers up a lot more. I should also launch some airstrikes while it's only cloudy.
Ooh, okay. Fuck it. Everybody goes in the same direction this time. Nothing is ready on the light carrier division 33. I don't really have enough aircraft there to worry about that. No sightings anywhere. Are they to the south? Hmm. No little blue flags anywhere. Oh, I take that back. So it looks like they're over here somewhere. Keep going after the carriers. Stop it. I don't think any of our carriers have had a single uh, hit on them. Everybody turn north again. North Northwest. Well, we have found them. Let's see if we can intercept. There's a light carrier there. So I was sending them in totally wrong direction. I'm going to need to wait for a lot more planes to land before I can do anything. And why are you over there? Or dive bombers. Does anybody have a higher number of unready aircraft that I can ready up and does not look like it? Yep. 
No. Okay, Soul has a fire. Flooding from a bomb hit. Must have been a skip bomb. Can you even handle aircraft anymore? I mean, not, not with the fire, obviously, but... <sighs> Hi guys, Battle Group Gamer here, coming at you with an outro. Um, so this particular episode ended up being um, just a little over an hour and 40 minutes long. So I'm um, forcing myself to learn how to use Movie Maker Studio, um, or hold on is it called movie studio 14.0 platinum um i've had this program for years and never fucking learned how to use it so i get to learn how to do that today or as you know the the date of this recording anyways um yeah super long cutting it into two this is the end of this particular episode uh next part will be up um, in, in a few days, no real reason for it. I just don't feel like putting out both halves of the video in a day. Um, yeah, feel, um, <laughs> thank you very much for watching. Feel free to leave a comment. Feedback is always appreciated. Like the video if you enjoyed what you saw, yada, yada, yada. You know how I always do the outro. See you next time. Um, for, for the, uh, second half of this